This is part two of the series on the mighty and the lawful captives, art dwellers, powers, and 21 potters. In part one, we looked at seven potters or doors through which evil powers can engulf a human life and make a mess of it. Number eight Potter here is divine permission. That is the eighth Potter or door through which evil powers can engulf or completely submerge or take over a human life is through God's permission. This may sound strange, but it does happen. This is when the Almighty deliberately allows satanic interference in a person's life. This is usually for God's glory. This is what, what happened in the case of Job. You will find this in the book of Job, chapters 1 and 2. In these two chapters, God gave permission to Satan to deal with Job. The truth is that the ways of God are far beyond anything humans can comprehend. The important thing was that at the end of it all, at the end of it all, Job himself gave all the glory to God. In the book of Job, chapter 42, verses 2 to 6, the man Job said unto the Lord, I know that you can do all things, and that no thought or purpose of yours can be restrained or thwarted. You said to me, Who is this that darkens and obscures counsel by words without knowledge? Therefore, I now see I have rashly uttered what I did not understand. Things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. I had virtually said to you what you have said to me. Here, I beseech you, and I will speak. I will demand of you, and you declare to me. I had heard of you only by the hearing of the hear, but now my spiritual eye sees you. Therefore, I loathe my words and abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. The ninth portal or door is deception. One of the most notable portals or doors through which the kingdom of darkness bombards human life is deception. 
it is clear from all indications that most humans living on earth today have been scammed. Sadly, most of these people don't even know that they have been deceived. This is especially in relation to issues of spirituality and religion. Most art dwellers still do not realize that any human who is estranged from the one true God and from Jesus Christ is lost eternally. People therefore get embroiled in all sorts of religions. This is despite the fact that it is easy to prove that the God of the Bible is the only true God. Surprisingly, many people still continue to worship gods that are inferior to the God of the Bible. People are thus deluded, thinking that they are all right when they are really not. Such people are suffering from a satanically induced delusion. The tenth portal is disobedience. A person's life can be invaded by evil spirits if that person deliberately disobeyed God. This was the case of King Saul of Israel. In 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 10. This was a king who had lived a life of disobedience to God upon becoming the king of Israel. God, therefore, authorized an evil spirit to come upon him. Not unexpectedly, the evil spirit that dwelled with him tormented him to no end. Potter number 11. The 11th potter or door through which evil spirits can take over a life is associating with evil spirits. Associating with evil spirits can be a portal through which evil and destruction can come upon a person's life. This was the experience of King Ahab who surrounded himself with false prophets. People need to know that evil spirits, like their big boss and mentor, Satan, are liars. Therefore, those who associate with evil spirits stand the risk of being scammed and eventually being destroyed. This is common in the world today where we have all sorts of false prophets masquerading as men and women of God. And millions of people are running after them. We are going to see in the life of King Ahab how he came to his doom. What happened was that King Ahab asked his evil spirit controlled prophets whether he should go to war and they gave him the go ahead this is found in first kings chapter 22 verse 6 king here therefore simply reaped the harvest of what he sowed by hobnobbing with false prophets who have been led by evil spirits 
the king was perfecting his own destruction, which eventually came upon him. Potter, number 12, is abuse of office. The twelfth portal through which evil spirits can invade one's life is through abuse of office. It is possible to provoke God by abusing one's office to an extent that God will allow one's life to be bedeviled by evil spirits and curses. This was proved by the case of King David when he had an affair with Uriah's, Uriah's wife and killed the husband. This is found in 2 Samuel chapter 12 verses 9 to 12. The passage reads, why have you despised the commandment of the Lord, doing evil in his sight? You have slain Uriah the Hittite with a sword, and have taken his wife to be your wife. You have murdered him with the sword of the Ammonites. Now, therefore, the sword shall never depart from your house because you have not only despised my command but you have despised me and have taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be your wife when I go to look at Potter number 13 the 13th portal through which powers of darkness can engulf a human life is through household wickedness. In most households today around the world there are representatives of the kingdom of darkness who operate to cause havoc in families and households. Unfortunately, this is commonplace. Most families have their own share of witches and wizards who serve as eyes and ears of the kingdom of darkness. It is hardly surprising that the Bible states in Matthew chapter 10 verse 36 which reads and a man's foes will be they of his own household Potter number 14 this is the worship of evil spirits This is a portal by which evil powers can afflict and waste humans. Around the world, there are people who worship evil spirits. This has been the practice from ancient times. In ancient Rome, for example, virgins were put to death and a special chamber was built to bury them in. This was to please the gods and restore balance to Rome. You need to understand that the entities who were referred to as gods in ancient Rome were evil spirits who were worshipped by the people. All sorts of sacrifices 
were made to these so-called gods. Such sacrifices included humans. Believe it or not, there are still several places and situations today on the planet where human sacrifices are carried out. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 20 states, No, I am suggesting that that what the pagan sacrifice they offer an effect to demons, that is, to evil spiritual powers and not to God at all. I do not want you to fellowship and be partners with diabolical spirits. My brothers and sisters, we have part three to look at, and this is coming next. Um, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do so and press the notification bell. I believe you will be blessed mightily by the videos that we put out on this channel. I will see you in part three. Thank you and God bless you mightily. I have seen